Hi everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Now this vlog has been really requested by you guys. It's what I eat in a day and it's around, what time is it Nick? Like 11, 12-ish? 11.30. Okay, 11.30. So today is Sunday and I want to let you guys know that what I eat in a day on the weekends is it's like night and day different from what I eat in a day when I'm at work. Because obviously at work, I have patients, I have a set time for my lunch, a set time for my snacks. When I wake up on weekend, for example, today, I wake up a little later. I'm, I'm a night owl. I love staying up late. I love sleeping in. So I just literally woke up like probably 30 minutes ago and I'm a little hungry. Green, not too much, but let's go see what I have and figure out what to make. All right, you guys, so let's see what we have in here. So I actually went grocery shopping yesterday and I have a lot of food. Okay, I think I'm gonna do eggs. What's this? Are they so cute? I've yeah, never seen this, I know. Like this. So you know what it is? I actually did this on my um, grocery haul. You weren't here, husband. I found these at Erewhon and it's a little farm and I love supporting small businesses. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make eggs. We're gonna add, where's all my stuff go? What are you missing? I don't know. Did Blair eat everything I bought? Oh, here, tomatoes, no, I got it. Okay, we're gonna make eggs with some tomatoes and I think um, we'll have a little fruit on the side, a little kiwi I feel like. And that's about it. Something really simple. I don't have avocados. I thought I did. I have some like leftover salad from last night's dinner. So I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna use a couple of cherry tomatoes. We'll put the bad one away. I'm just gonna make eggs like, I love my eggs. Um, what do you call it, like, over easy or mm -hmm. sunny side up? How do you eat your eggs? You like yours over easy. So you like all the uncooked gooey part. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, gross. How do you like it? Uh, like over medium or scrambled. Really? Okay, how do you guys like your eggs? Comment down below, please let me know. I like mine only one way. Oh, and of course my banana of the day. Okay, so I always cook everything with olive oil and I know like it, it might not be the best thing, but I don't do butter, I don't do any other kinds of oil. And I'm just gonna put some olive oil in there. This is a pretty decent brand that I like. I forgot where I bought that from. Doo -doo. Put your oil like this. Would you like me to make you something, Nick? No, thank you. You ate already? Yeah. Really? I actually think I'm allergic to eggs because every time I eat them, my like throat closes up. You remember when I had your dad look at it? Yeah. Like anytime I eat eggs, not every time, but sometimes my throat closes up in all morning. Then you're eggs. allergic. Can you do like the one like crack thing? What are you talking about? Like, like you do like boom, boom. Oh yeah. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. okay ready? And three, two, go. That's not what I meant. What did you mean? Oh shit, I forgot I was TikToking. <laughs> what did you mean? No, have you seen here? Let me see if I could do it. Like, people go like, um. Oh, they crack with their hand and they open it? <laughs> oh my God, Nick. I mean, they do it more gracefully. You just ruined my ornate egg, mister. Oh, you're not making scrambled. No, I'm not making scrambled. I'm sorry, wife. I hope you like scrambled. Oh, it's okay. We'll still make it over easy. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. I kind of feel bad. Don't feel bad. It's okay. I'm going to add a little salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's it. Look at how beautiful that looks. And literally, I'm just going to end it at that. That's breakfast. I don't need anything more. I'll probably have a couple of pieces of kiwi as well. I was thinking about having a banana, but I changed my mind. So that's gonna be it, really simple. I eat really like simple food, you guys. Okay, so breakfast is done, but before I eat my breakfast, I'm gonna go ahead and make my teeny tea. I'm so excited because I've worked with Teamy before. And thank you so much, Teamy, for sponsoring this video. I love their detox tea. You guys, look at me. I look so good. Remember for a while, like I was bloated and I had gained a little bit of weight. I did the detox tea and the colon tea for 30 days and it really helped just stimulate everything and get rid of some of my bloat, make me feel better, just make me feel comfortable. And you guys know, oh my God, I got olive oil all over it. I'm so sorry, you guys. There's olive oil all over my house. You guys know that it's not about weight for me, but it's about feeling good, feeling healthy. I'm 46 years old, you guys, and my metabolism has dropped, but this tea really helped accelerate it. So without further ado, I'm gonna put, so basically I put about a teaspoon here and there. You know, you don't have to be that exact. I'm gonna add a little bit more today. And I love my to-go cup. It's so amazing. Put the hot water in there. 
it's just so easy. This is like the easiest. Did I do enough water? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Just put the hot water in, you put this little clear mesh, put the top on, and you're ready to go. Tighten it, you guys, don't wanna burn yourself. Beautiful, and there's my tea, there's my breakfast. You guys, so make sure you check out my link in my description box below for Dr. Nina 20 for 20% off your teamy tea. I love this tea, I'm telling you. I'm usually not a tea drinker, but I'm addicted to this. It tastes so good. This is the, excuse the olive oil guys, but this is the skinny tea me, and this is the colon one, which you do every other night, and you did this every morning. It really helps with gut health, just overall bloating, really makes me feel good. And I feel really healthy when I'm on it. So I've just started my third year detox again a few days ago. I think I hear Blair. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm taking, um, are we going soon? Right now, yeah. Okay, so see, with that said, I have my Teamy To Go cup. Make sure you guys all go get yours. You'll love it. And comment down below if you've tried it from my last video or this video, you love it. Teamy, thank you so much for sponsoring this. We have to go, so we're gonna take our tea on the go. I just get a chance to take a bite and I have to take the rest of my food home. I mean, the rest of whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. Okay guys, it is lunchtime. Let me see. It's 2.19 and I just grilled some chicken with salt, pepper, olive oil, a little bit of parsley on top, just really simple. I didn't cook a lot because Blair's out of the house. She's having lunch with her friends. And so I'm just gonna make myself a really simple salad with veggies and grilled chicken. So that's gonna be on there for like a few more minutes. And then let me get one of my infamous big white bowls and mix everything right in here. So I thought I have some lettuce right here. This is just some romaine lettuce that was already pre-washed, but I washed it one more time just to be on the safe side. Oh, I don't like that piece. Ooh, I don't like this piece at all. Or this piece. Oh my goodness. Why is my, I think maybe my refrigerator settings have changed because everything's going bad like literally overnight. Okay, so here's some romaine lettuce. You guys comment down below, what's your favorite kind of lettuce? I actually really love romaine. I love all kinds of lettuce though. Okay, I think this is done. Let me check this. Beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. Look at how beautiful and ornate that looks. Yum, yum. I'm gonna sing the Justin Bieber song. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> so what that means, but. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't mean about food? No. <laughs> for lunch, for the most part, I like to eat salads. Every day, every day. There was a time that I was eating a lot of hard, hard like I was eating like two hard boiled eggs for lunch every day. Yeah. You know the protein box fight from Starbucks? And then I went to my doctor and she was like, why is your cholesterol so high? I was like, I don't know, I eat really healthy. And then I realized, I think it was the eggs. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of cauliflower, broccoli, Oh my God, I had the best broccoli from this restaurant called Craig's in LA. You guys probably have heard of it because people always get paparazzi outside there. And I can't even tell you how they made the broccoli so delicious. I'm gonna really look at it next time and try to figure it out and make it for you guys. No, just specific. ask them the recipe. They go, what do you do to this? They'll be like, oh, that'll be Nina's famous, Nina's famous recipe. recipe. Exactly, right? Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of carrots. Is the most famous broccoli. And remember you guys, cut it big, cut it small, cut it any way you want. Life is too short to worry about everything being exact. Just have fun with your food, enjoy it, you know? That's what I always say. Okay, we're gonna add some celery to this. And look how in just a few minutes, I made like a really yummy, healthy salad, like just like that. Should I add avocado, Nick? If you feel like it. I don't know if I feel like it. I think I might just do it like that. Very green. Very green. Well, it's some Nina green, right? Okay, the chicken looks fantastic. I'm just gonna probably slice it a little bit more. Let it rest for a second. Let me go get the olive oil and lemon juice for the salad, and we'll go from there. Yum, can I, yum. Can I like rat you out for a second? Yes. Everyone, Nina texted me the other day and she goes, Nick, I have a problem. <gasps> and I go, what? You don't remember? I have no idea what I'm about to say. I, I think I forgot. What was it? And I go, what's the issue? She goes, I've been using ranch dressing a lot lately. Wasn't that you? Yes. It was you. Yeah. Yes. Look. You bought ranch? You never have ranch. Well, okay. Somebody at my work, Gabby at my work, she said that like she's on a keto diet and she's right like, here. oh, look at that, a whole thing of ranch. Where's the other one? Another thing of ranch. What are you doing? 
I never, never do this. I know, I never ever do it, but I was craving it. And then, um, oh, this is what happened the other day. Oh, let me close the fridge. The other day I was craving it and I went and got a salad from this place with, I got like a Cobb salad, but of course I get it without bacon and I got it with ranch. Usually I would have asked for the balsamic. And, and then when I went to the office, Gabby's like, oh, that's keto friendly. Ranch is supposedly keto friendly. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm being healthy. And now I'm on a ranch kick. I think it's high in fat. It's high in fat. I don't understand the keto diet, to be honest with you. I don't understand really anything. <laughs> I really don't. So today we're actually, I don't, I'm not craving ranch today. Today we're going to do olive oil and vinegar. I mean, olive oil and lemon juice or lime juice is it, whichever one it is. But I'm saying that um, I, I generally, I know so many people are on the keto diet. I don't, I don't understand it because ranch is like very high in fat. And then you're supposedly like, you can have coffee, but it has to be with whipping cream. Or something like that. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? My mom was on it for like a year. Did it help her? No. <laughs> I, I mean, a little bit, but like you get stuck after you lose like 15 pounds. Is that what it is? I, I just don't understand it. To me, like there's these people on TikTok that are like doing the keto, you know, the keto diets and they take like bell pepper and they put cream cheese in it and stuff like that. All right, you guys. So I put a little bit of olive oil, um, juice of one lemon. I'm gonna add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, my new addiction, a little bit of pepper, and voila! There's a really yummy, healthy lunch for you. Thanks, wife. Welcome, husband. All right, guys, so I forgot to tell you, but I did snack on some pomegranates and some melons earlier, because you guys know I love my fruits, and now it's almost dinner time, so I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine. This is, I showed this to you guys in my luxury haul. I mean, in my luxury haul. <laughs> Sorry, I just immediately always go to luxury hauls. There was a grocery haul. Um, it's a glass of Sauvignon Blanc in my little Chanel glasses. All right, you guys, so I just poured myself some Sauvignon Blanc. Would you like a glass, Nick? No, love. Uh, what if you and I get married in real life? You and I would be a perfect duo. I think so. Like, you're clean, you're organized, you're neat. I guess everyone's going to see that in a few weeks when you film at my place. Oh, and some people were asking about the speaking 24 hours in um, Farsi. I think you should do it. I think you should do it in Farsi and in Spanish. Okay, I'll do both. Because you, you speak Spanish too. I speak some Spanish. Some days, like my Spanish is so good in the dental office. And um, some days it's not. But I can like start practicing starting tomorrow at the office. Why not? Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sounds good to me. What are we eating for dinner now, wife? Okay, my dear. So I'm gonna prepare this a little early because we have to go pick up Blair, so I figured I'll just have it ready. So I got some, look at how gorgeous these cherry tomatoes look. They look so good. We should take off me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I got some mushrooms. And you guys, a tip from Nina, do not wash your mushrooms because they'll get really, um, they absorb all the moisture from water. So what you wanna do, just get a wet cloth or there's actually mushroom brushes and clean off all the dirt from it, okay? But we are going to clean. This is gonna be so good, man. What this is, is it? This is, it's gonna be, I'm gonna do fettuccine. I bought some fresh fettuccine. I'm gonna do fettuccine with olive oil, um, garlic, cherry tomatoes, and some mushrooms in it. And some uh, fresh Parmigiano Reggiano on top of it. So I have all my ingredients out here and look how easy this is. Let me get a knife and cut the garlic. Voila. Okay. I cleaned the mushrooms with a wet um, cloth. Let's do, see, I think like we're supposed to, you guys, we're TikToking as we're YouTubing. So we have like, I'm so sorry for the confusion. So we should like, tick, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can just always do another garlic for the TikTok. Okay, perfect. Okay, so... <laughs> That's what you're confused about? Beyond confused. <laughs> lost all brain cells. I have one and a half left and lost those two. Okay, oh my god, open up right here. We have so much going on today. And on top of that, we have um, a dishwasher delivery today. Did we ever tell people our dishwasher drama? We kind of told them. 
Yeah, so my um, appliance person bought me this dish, this dishwasher. He sent me the picture, but I didn't see this. And I've never even heard of this brand, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not that it's bad. I mean, it's brand new. A dishwasher is a dishwasher. You guys, honestly, it to me doesn't make a difference. But the problem is it just doesn't match well with the house. Everything else is stainless steel. Oh, now that I look at it, there's black on the microwave too. But that just doesn't look good. You know what I mean? They're delivering a new one, stainless steel with a bar, really ornate, really nice. So that's going to be done hopefully sometime today by 6.30 p.m. So that's my dishwasher dilemma. And now my oven's not starting. Let's see. So we're just going to get a couple of garlic cloves, you guys. Really simple. By the way, this wine is delicious. Is it? It's really good because it's not too sweet. I don't like sweet wine at all. I, I actually prefer really dry. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sliver this. Like this. Really simple. All right, you guys, so I got fresh fettuccine from Bristol Farms. Oh my God, don't scare me, husband. So literally that's gonna cook in like at one or two minutes. It's that simple, It's because it's fresh, you know? And that's the beauty of when you get fresh stuff. Hold on. So I have to monitor this really fast. So this one you have to monitor because it's so fresh, it will legit cook like cook in like two to three minutes. And don't forget you guys, always add a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt to your pasta water, okay? That's cooked, all right, let's drain this. Beautiful. The beauty of this, and that's drained. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this to the side right here, just like that. Now, the next phase is we are going to heat up this pan, okay? We are going to heat up that pan, put a little bit of olive oil. This is the simplest recipe. Just like you guys know, all my recipes are so simple. So basically, I'm going to throw the garlic in there, mushroom, saute that, and then the, I have to cut the cherry tomatoes. Oh my God, Nick, we didn't cut the cherry tomatoes. Cut the cherry tomatoes, throw that in there, a light, healthy sauce, really nice, kind of fall vibes, um, you know, Sunday evening dinner. All right, you guys, so the garlic is sauteing. I'm gonna add my mushrooms. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper to it too. Let me just grab that. I still have more mushrooms to go in there. I'll leave it with guys. Give me one second. Beautiful. Give it a little toss. Look at that, that looks so good. I think it needs a little bit more olive oil, guys. A little bit more, beautiful. That's that. And then once those cook a little bit, I'm gonna add the cherry tomatoes. Okay, let's add the rest of the mushrooms to it. Cook. Look how wonderful that looks. I'm going to add, let me see. Like I always love red chili, like a crushed red, how do you say it, Nick? ESL here. Usually I have fresh basil, you guys. This looks divine. But doesn't this look good though? And then this is all we're gonna do. Literally, we're gonna take the pasta and add it to it. And for whoever, oh, oh juice, hold on, hold on. Chef Nina's having a moment here. And for whoever, look at that. So good, right? All right, you guys, so I'm so glad I cooked dinner because it's all ready. I'm saving it right there. And this is Persian style. Like we put the lid over it. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna leave this here because she's literally like 15 minutes away. She's in Melrose somewhere. I'm gonna go pick her up, bring her home. We're gonna eat dinner. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. And please subscribe. Don't forget my Instagram, at Nina Gray. Go and show it some love. My TikToks, I'm doing a lot of TikToks for you guys. Let me know what kind you want me to do. I hope you really enjoy them. I'm here to make you guys happy, even on your saddest day. I love you guys so much. And remember, always keep cooking.